Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane and today I have a very exciting video to share with you guys. I'm going to be reviewing the UG's pen tablet S1060 and I'll be telling you why this video is so exciting for me to make in just one second but before we begin why don't you guys grab some water, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea and let's begin. <laughs> This video is very special to me because it's the first time a company has ever reached out to me and sent me an art product for me to review. So in the spirit of full disclosure, UG did send me this tablet for free in exchange for me to review it, but they did not ask me to say anything specific about it, neither positive or negative. So I'm free to say whatever I wanna say about my experience using this product and at the end of this video, if you're interested in purchasing it, I'll be leaving a purchase link below as well as a discount code for everybody who might be interested. So I don't usually say much about the packaging of products because usually things just come in a box and there's nothing remarkable about it. But one of the things that I first noticed when getting the box from Yuji was that it's extremely cute and it comes with a comic that it's adorable. I just thought it was really nice and a great touch to add, especially considering this is targeted at artists and students. The box comes with the tablet itself, a battery-free stylus, extra nibs, the usual manuals and guides, a nib remover, the cable to plug it into your computer, and two adapters in case you want to also plug it into your phone. And here's where I realized something. I have never had a pen tablet that can connect to my phone. So I got really excited. I wanted to try it right away and so I did. I didn't even see if I had to download anything, any drivers specifically for using the tablet with my phone. I just plugged it in with the adapter and started drawing. And it worked right away. I had no issues whatsoever. No lagging, no delay, nothing. It worked literally right out of the package, which was for me a delight and something that I always look for in products that I get. I think this feature opens up a lot of possibilities for people that maybe can't afford a laptop or a computer at the moment and who want to start their digital art journey. So in my book, this gets UG a gold star for allowing this kind of usage for users that may not have access to a computer or a laptop. Now, as curious as I was to use it with my phone, I knew that that was not the main usage I was going to give it, so I turned to my laptop. I quickly searched for the drivers I needed and it took me less than 5 minutes to finish the process from downloading to installing the drivers. If you follow me, you will know that I mainly use a Wacom Intuos for all of my work, so I was curious to see how UG would compare. First of all, the feel of the surface of the tablet itself is almost identical to the Wacom, although there is slightly less friction when moving the pen around. Another thing I notice is the amount of express keys that you get with this S1060. You get 12 with this model to be exact. That's kind of crazy to me because my Intuos only has 4 and to be honest, I never use those keys. Strangely enough, while using UG's tablet, I felt really comfortable and even motivated to use their express keys, since I had so many to choose from and since I could customize them to my liking. The battery-free pen itself comes with a fantastic 8192 levels of pressure and 60 degrees of tilt function, which is shockingly more levels of pressure than my Intuos, which only stands at 4096 levels. This is sort of crazy considering that the Intuos costs more than this tablet. So there goes another gold star for Yuji. I wanted to create a cute illustration to test this tablet and I decided to draw myself with the tablet itself. I was pleasantly surprised with how natural it felt for me to use it. One of the things I wasn't used to was having more space to draw on, but I quickly got accustomed and even felt more comfortable with the extra real estate. I use the express keys like I mentioned before with ease and even instinctively. By the time I started inking and coloring the drawing, I kind of forgot that I hadn't ever used this product before and it was just your regular fun and creative experience of drawing. I was focusing more on the art rather than what I was using to create the illustration and I think that's what you want in a drawing tablet. I want it to be a tool that is easy and intuitive to use 
so that your only concern is being an artist. The S1060 definitely did that for me. I came into reviewing this tablet with no real expectations as to how good or bad it would be, but I have to say that now that I've used it, I will be recommending this product to all of my friends who want to pursue art, who are just starting to study art, or who do it as a hobby. I couldn't ask for a better entry-level product. Now, time will tell if the hardware holds up to usage and time, and I'll be reviewing it one year later, just as I did with my Wacom Intuos, so definitely subscribe to be able to see that in the future. A few things I want to mention too are that this model is not wireless, but if you want to get the wireless version, there is one. Also, don't forget to take advantage of the discount code I provide in the description if you want to purchase it. And let me know in the comments if you see yourself getting this tablet. If you already have it or if you are thinking about getting a different tablet, do you have any other tablets you would like me to review in the future? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you for the next video. Bye!